Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of this uh, course of coffee script made by Rates Karate. Um, this time we're going to talk about arrays. Okay. So the idea first is to solve the coffee challenge, but as always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Bastionbelandia. We are also at Rails Karate. We are also on Facebook. Always keep an eye on RailsKarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, guys. So let's solve the coffee challenge of the previous lesson. If you remember, it was all about ask to the user entered several um, guess the the random number generator so let me show you how it works so I'm here in the workspace uh, let me open scripts.coffee file here it is so first of all what we need to do is to create a loop the, we are going to use a, f a loop break okay so that's one of the types we saw I'm going to use it okay I'm going to use this loop so first of all we enter once we enter to the loop you're going to ask to the user enter his guest number then we check the number is not none and if the user uh, guessed so we show the message but if the user does not get we want him we want to show that you fail try again this will be the message if the user fails Okay, or if the user enters a, 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 a string, so we're going to print this. So in which case we are going to break the loop. So we are going to break the loop unless this this is true. Wait, no, unless this is not true why because if the user if this is true is because user because remember we have this function here so if this is true it means that the user guessed the number so we we want to break this only when this is true so we break unless this is not true we could also type this if user guess this is true but I like also the unless way so we can do it both ways okay so let's try it out I'm going to open the index.html file and let's see how it works okay it is not running because in the previous lesson we changed the script so let's change it to be scripts.js this is the file where we have the random numbers generator and now let's open a preview again and let's see oh, okay it's, it is working so I'm going to print numbers from I mean a random number between 1 and 6 and then it asks me to to enter a random number so I'm going to enter the number 1 let's see what happened you failed try again then I enter number 2 let's see I failed number 3 I failed number 4 I failed number 5 and the generator number was number five so it shows me uh, you guessed correctly and finished this was the challenge we decided to use the lock break because um, it is the unique one that evaluates the condition at the end so we don't have to repeat any code so we just enter here and this will repeat and repeat over and over unless this is not true uh, we could also use a while loop, we could also use, well, I think the 4E, no, that didn't apply in this case. But, well, you can see here a short exercise and don't forget that if you solve, solve it, use the coffee challenge hashtag. Drop us a line on Twitter with, the, with that hashtag, will be great. Okay, let's start. I'm going to close this script. Oh, wait. Before, we are going to use it again functions exa example that yes dot js and save 
functions example so close script that coffee and open functions example that g and uh, that coffee okay i'm going to close to erase this let's just stop so basically an array is pretty similar to what we saw in the ruby basics course so i suppose you already know what is an array um, it's basically a container of values of multiple values think uh, imagine that an array is a train and each of its va wagons is a container of values where you can put any value we can put strings numbers booleans whatever so i'm going to to create an array let me show you so if we type this we have an array an empty array we can also add it values add values to l and can i can add strings i can add numbers i can add true or false boolean values we can also avoid the commas using this syntax um, the way we access to arrays is pretty basic and similar to ruby so we just need to for example make an alert and say let's say array zero using brackets so we are using indexes remember that an array has values and each value has an id or an index an index is just an identifier uh, for each position of the array so in coffee script all the all the array indexes start at zero so that's why if we say array this is a variable we have an array uh, zero we are going to get back an a so let's see what we get back okay the code was not running and it's because I they committed a mistake spelling or typing the name of the file make sure you use the right name and now it should run let's see and yes it shows the letter i a pardon a sorry so so as you can see in the case of this array we have index 0 1 2 and 3 Three. What happened when we try to access in this index four? Let's see what's it's what's shown. As you can see, it says undefined. So this is the way um, Cough uh, script or JavaScript lets us know. Let us know uh, that you want to access an index that does not exist in within the array. Now let's see how to add information to an array that is already created. For example, if we want to add an element to the last position of the array, we can use the method, the push method. Let me show you. In this case, I'm gonna say array.push5. Let's see what happened. Uh, okay, array.push5. Let's see console console the log array uh, let's see what's printed here I'm going to preview okay and let's let's see it in a browser let's close this okay and as you can see here we have the five at the end of the array and uh, we can also push multiple values I can push another string B for example I can push the number six. Let's see what happens when we push again. And as you can see, those values were added at the end of the of the of the array. The array. So as we can add um, items at the end, we can also add items at the beginning. We just need to use the shift, the unshift method. And uh, you will see here that we added the same, but instead of added at the end, we are adding it, adding it at the beginning. So we can one, we can add at the beginning with the unshift method one or multiple values. Now let's see how to remove data from an array. So we can remove, for example, last item uh, within an array using the pop method going to use the pub method let's see what happens so we should only see a4 and true because false is removed and as you can see it it, it, it is so let's see 
um, the pub method not only removes the value it also uh, returns it so uh, let's see um, remove remove item equals to this so this uh, variable is going to be equals to false so let's print the console and also I mean let's print the array and also print the remove item and let's see what it shows us and as you can see we have uh, the the array with only three values and the removed item is the value printed in the removed item variable okay so we also have the shift method that does the contrary of pop it removes the first item of the array and also returns it um, we also have the method the length method um, okay let's see we also have the length the length method this method which shows us uh, which show us uh, the number of items within the array in this case we have four items and as you can see four is printed because we are saving the value within this variable I'm printing it out um, we also can iterate over arrays so let's see what we can do in this case I'm going to iterate an array using the for in loop so we can use the for in similar that as we did with ranges we can also do it with arrays so we have an item in array and let's see console dot log item so what is this item this item will be the value or the current value when iterating through array so let's see what happens when we try to to do this uh, we should see okay we should see all the values of each of the values of the array printed out we wanted to cover all this topic in one video but um, I think it's enough for now we have a coffee challenge for you if you haven't already go to the article or the blog post of this lesson it, the description in the description of the video you will find a link or in an annotation on the corner of the video so let's see what's the coffee challenge um, the idea here is to create a simulator of a shopping cart so let me show you a demonstration so here I have a shopping cart um, let's reload for run the program so the program will ask me um, enter items to the shopping cart so let's see I'm going to enter milk I'm going to enter eggs I'm going to enter uh, soda I'm going to enter a no chocolate chocolate and the program will stop asking me when I leave these check I mean these text field empty so if I do not enter anything uh, I'm gonna click hit the accept button you can see that a list an HTML list is printed out in the page so this is the, the challenge for achieve this you will have to use uh, loops you will have to use um, some of HTML so research in the internet how to create an HTML list it's pretty simple you will have to use arrays too so enjoy it and if you solve it use the hashtag coffee challenge on Twitter um, see you next lesson the next lesson we're going to talk about some other useful methods we can use with arrays and also we are going to talk about multidimensional arrays so stay tuned and see you next lesson bye bye